Men, it's very important for you to be in the lives of your children and fight like hell to be in the lives of your children, especially, of course, your daughters too, but especially your sons. Now, this video that we're about to review here comes actually out of South Africa. And I want you to see this. This is going to boil your, your blood, but, but we have to talk about this. This is very serious, so let's review it. That's funny. Okay, do this. This is a little boy, and it's supposed to be, I think, not, it's not his mother, from what I say, because when I saw the video, she actually posted this um, on Twitter. And people was getting at her and say, hey, what are you doing with that child? Why are you putting that on that boy's face? Of course, you had the people that's degenerates going to go co and defend that, of course. But then you had people come in and say, hey, this isn't right. Now, when we notice no dads around when all this stuff is going on because a, a father wouldn't let all this mess go on. But let's continue. Ah, you look sickening, darling. Do you want to see it? Okay, look at yourself. Oh, my days. I can get inside. This is so nice. It looks pretty nice. Thank you, Jessie. You're welcome. Do you like it? Okay, cool. But yeah. Now, men, imagine if that was your son. Imagine. This is why you, you got to make sure a waiting to have children. And I always say that she ain't worth your last name. She ain't worth having a child with. Because you have sons and leaving with some of these women, and these women aren't the best of women that some of you guys are picking. And then things like this happen. You understand? Now, shout out to Miss Juicy Genius. Shout out to her. <laughs> she was saying that uh, that was her son, and she did that to her son. She would basically rock her jaw. And you had people attacking her for saying that. Any woman with any kind of sense and love her son would be angry to see something like this. She had a boy, and that's what she's raising. She, she, her daughter, they do it to the daughter all day long. But then even that much... On a little, a little girl that age, I would say something. No. But this is the day and time that we're living in, ladies and gentlemen, is that they're trying to push and feminize our boys globally. They want to see our men and boys in a dress. And then when men are just being men, they want to call that toxic masculinity. They want to use all these terms like misogyny, misogynoir, and all this crap they want to use when men are just being men. When men demand men to be men, that's a problem. But if you're not man enough, that's a problem too. They're always gaslighting men on every freaking thing about existence and being. That's why a lot of men say, I, ain't, I don't care not what these women are talking about. But men, don't leave your sons in the hands of a lot of these women and definitely some of these single mothers, you need to be there and be around. To me, what that girl did to this boy, to me, is criminal. It's criminal, and she needs to be in jail. You may say criminal, it's just makeup. Makeup don't belong on a boy. Now, he turns 18 years old. If he chooses that route on his own, that's his personal business. But when you're a child, to me, you're grooming. And that's been going on in the United States of America anyway, here. And then, of course, some factions in South Africa. Now, you say it's out of South Africa. LGBT is allowed in South Africa. Now, you go to a place like Kenya, Nigeria, a place like that. No, nah, uh -uh, that's not allowed. But people live their life how they want to live it. The only thing that I'm saying is when you're doing these things to children, to me, you're grooming. And, so, and somebody needs to come visit her. And she put this online like this is a good thing. What, what about, you know, did you talk to his, his actual parents? Was that okay with them? You know, did you think about the repercussions of that? No, you didn't think about anything. You, wanted, you know, like I said, where's your kid at? Why you didn't do it to your kid? Because you said it's not even his, her, uh, her child. Sad. Men, be in your kid's life because if not, this kind of stuff can happen. Let me know what y'all think about, you know, this, you know, this, this is sad. This is early sad. But the crazy part is these degenerates, 
these unrighteous people that will sitting up here defending her doing that to that boy. 